Hi friends. In this video, we will see the basic concept in Java. So if you start the Java, we are not, we won't miss the hello world program, right? That is a, if any Java developer, the hello world program is the first program, right? Like our, how we, in, we are learning ABC in our primary schools. So like that, Hello World program is the first program. In that program, the first line we are going to execute is system.out.println and hello world. So first we have to think the basic. If you go to Python language and all, if you want to print anything, then directly there is a print method is there. But why not in Java? Okay. So let's go and see its small example. So there is a method, there is a class called println. This class is having one method call. So the print stream is the class. That class has the method called println. So this method is a responsible to print your messages in the console. So it took the uh, uh, string as an input argument, then it will print that. Uh, let's start with small example to understand so why we have to call in that way system dot out dot println. So let's see. First, I will create in my com dot core Java package. I will create one class user class. Okay. This is my user class. So in this user class, I will create one static variable, static string variable, string variable with the name of name, then equal to Rias. Okay, so let's see. So user is the, this user is the class. Okay, then the name is the variable, is the static variable of that class. Okay, yeah. So how I can call this variable from my main method. So let me create one main method for this class. So in this main method, I, calling this name. So how I can call is static variable. So I don't have to create the object for this. So directly user dot name. Okay. So if I want the length of this name, so what is the length of this string? So I can call length method, right? So user is the class name is the static variable of that class and I'm printing the the length of that uh, variable by using calling length method. So let me store that in one variable called length. So if I want to print as usual, how I can print system dot out dot print ln then length. If I run this program, see, this is output. Phi is the output. So let's see same way how I'm calling user is the class name is the static variable of the user class and length is a method. Same way system is the class. Okay, then print out is the variable. So out is the variable of print stream class. So here in this program name is the variable of string class. Okay, like that out is the variable of print stream class then here the string is having the method called length method. Same way this out stream is having the method called print ln method. Hope you understood. This is the concept. Okay. I will repeat again. So in this simple user class, user is the class name, name is the static variable and length is the method of string. Okay. The data type of uh, name variable. So same way system is the class out is the, out is the static variable of the system class. Then println is the method of out that is print stream class. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.